Hi! Today, we're diving into an exciting science question, what happens when objects with different masses move at the same speed? Spoiler alert! It's all about kinetic energy, and how mass plays a big role. Let's find out! Our goal today is to uncover the relationship between mass and kinetic energy. By the end, you'll be able to explain why heavier objects pack a bigger punch, literally. Let's define some key terms. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Anything moving has it. Mass is how much stuff an object is made of. Together, they create a linear relationship. As mass increases, so does kinetic energy. Think about a bowling ball and a soccer ball. If both roll at the same speed, which one causes more impact? The bowling ball. That's because it has more mass, which gives it more kinetic energy. Let's test this. We'll roll a basketball and a tennis ball at the same speed toward these paper cups. Notice how the heavier basketball knocks over more cups. More mass equals more energy. Now, let's measure mass and graph it. The basketball weighs 1 kilogram, the tennis ball only 0.3 kilograms. If we graph mass versus kinetic energy impact, we see a clear trend, more mass means more energy transferred to the cups. This idea applies in the real world too. In car crashes, a heavier vehicle at the same speed creates more force on impact than a lighter car. Engineers use this principle to design safer vehicles. Let's wrap up. Kinetic energy increases linearly with mass. Heavier objects transfer more energy. This concept is crucial for understanding motion in sports, vehicles, and safety designs. Today, you learned how mass impacts kinetic energy and got to test it with real data. Next time you're bowling or playing soccer, think about the energy in motion.